What's up Pony people, this is Chestnuts here with your second tutorial um, Hopefully in better quality and with better sound this time, so we'll see how this goes uh, This time I wanted to start from scratch and start with showing you how to prepare a glitter blind bag Because um, these things seem to be around, they're all I can get hold of cheap at the moment um, <coughs> For whatever reason uh, and so I wanted to show you how you prepare one of these because they've got the glitter on, obviously. Um, so let me angle this to start with down here. And I will move my others out the way. Right. Um, so to start with, obviously, what you want to do is whittle it down. I'd always whittle it down before you uh, take off the glitter. Otherwise, you're just going to take off glitter on pieces like the tail where... It's a waste of time if you just hack that off. So what I recommend you do for something like the tail here is select a slightly bigger uh, scalpel. And uh, it's worth mentioning I'm using scalpels, but I hear you can use um, uh, rotary tools, Dremel thingies and stuff like that. Um, I've never used those, so I can't vouch for them or advise you on how to do it or anything like that. I'm, I use scalpels cause, because I do. Um, so for something like this, what you want to do is get it down here, far enough away from the ass that you're not going to flatten, cut a flat bit off it, um, but close enough. And then if you just apply a sort of rocking motion like this, making sure to keep your fingers away, you should notice as you start to get about halfway through. And then, it shouldn't be too long. There we go. Then for the, uh, for the bottom of the tail there, you can just slice straight down into your cutting mat. Um, and then what you can do is select a smaller scalpel to slice away this uh, stuff here like that um, and you may want to put a bit more attention to it than that just neaten it up etc some of these bigger pieces like this you can take off with a bigger scalpel as well again use the rocking motion and what I would do for this bit of mane here is give it the rocking motion just until you start getting close to those ears and you want to make sure you don't um, you don't cut into them. So you cut a bit of there, and then at an angle like this. Obviously not like that because you'll cut your finger. Just there we go. That comes off nice and easily. Um, and for the back of the mane here, what I would do is make a diagonal cut this way. And you can be quite forceful with it at this point because you're only pushing the nose down into the uh, to the ground like that, so you're not going to slip and the blade go all the way through it. So you do a uh, do an angled cut that way and an angled cut that way, and that middle piece should eventually should just pop out. Um, and then what you want to do is use the smaller scalpel to get some of the side bits away and just neaten it up. Um, for simplicity's sake and also so you don't watch how badly I use a scalpel because I, I do always cut with my fingers in the way and all sorts. Uh, here's one I made earlier. Now we're going to take the glitter off. Um, there's a couple of ways people do this. Uh, acetone is one of them, and the other one is um, what is it? It's a uh, nail varnish remover. Uh, I use acetone because it's much quicker, um, but it's also more expensive than nail varnish, and it's a lot more harsh on your toys, so you can't dunk it in there you know I've heard some people say and you would have to speak to people who do it to, to confirm that but I've heard some people say that you can dunk the pony in nail varnish remover uh, for quite a long time 
you can't do that with acetone. Uh, I have a picture somewhere. If I know what I'm doing, I can bring it up now-ish. Um, <clears throat> to show you what happens if you leave your pony in acetone. But basically it will start to melt the flesh away. Um, and the plastic will literally peel off. It will peel away in layers. And that's not what you want. So, what I'm going to do is using the... Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, I've missed a bit. I've missed a trick here. Um, pinning, making the tail, pinning tails and things. Let me show you that quickly, because there's a number of ways you can do that. First of all, you can do it with a little one of these drills. This is a uh, Citadel uh, Games Workshop one. I think it cost me about seven or eight quid on the internet. Um, and that is one way that you can do it is like that that's very good and it works effectively you can see that's drilling through there with very little effort um, and that's quite nice however that does make quite a small hole now the way I do it is this I have a spike which actually came off a rather old metal compass um, so I couldn't tell you where to buy something like this, but if you have a spike, a metal spike, that is uh, that is big enough, i.e. wide enough for your uh, whatever material you're going to use to pin it, that will do. The only thing I would say is if it's all one one thing, you don't want that. That's going to be no good. You're going to have to put some kind of handle on it because we're going to heat this up now to 1300 degrees like this. All you do, you just hold the spike over the flame, and it shouldn't take too long before the end of it goes orange. It starts to glow with the heat. It doesn't need to be too hot, just as soon as you've got a glow on the end, you can take that away. And then we poke this into the pony's backside squeeze it all the way down like that and just hold that there uh, to let that cool down now the reason you want that to cool down is because if you pull it out now it's going to drag a lot of molten plastic with it um, and that will get stuck to the spike uh, not to mention it will look like a whole load of plastic coming out of its ass so we let that cool down I dare say that may have even been long enough you could always dip that in water right now if you can't be bothered to wait, but literally that's long enough. Give it a twist and pull and you'll see that there is no plastic stuck to the end of that spike. Uh, it does on its way out create the effect, I don't know if you can see that, of a slightly unsightly ring piece on the end of the pony, which is quite easily fixed with a scalpel. There we go, We've there's its ring, lovely jubbly. So anyhow, now that you've got that hole in there, I'm gonna put that back in again and just use that to hold the pony um, for a short while, while I acetone. Now, removing the glitter what I've done here, acetone normally comes in a small pot which isn't big enough to fit the pony inside so all I've done here is just poured the contents of one of the pots into a, a bigger pot, one that a pony will fit inside um, and there it is you're also going to need some kind of rag uh, any old rag will do and now, if you can see that, all you do is you just, you know what, actually, normally this would work, but on this occasion, my acetone is getting very low, and that won't go down far enough, so I'm just going to dunk it in. You can leave that in there for a few seconds, but I wouldn't recommend putting your leaving it in the acetone for too long, because... Like I said, it's quite harsh on them. 
Just give it a bit of a rub. Rub it down. Don't be afraid to get the acetone on your fingers. As long as you wash them off later, it's all good. Uh, just don't do it while you're eating or anything like that. Because obviously you'll die. And these things are good as well. Like that. See, that's quite good for when there's only a few pieces left. Um, a few bits of glitter left. When it's still fairly glittery, what your best bet to do is keep dunking and wiping. Yeah, normally, if, if you had a pot this sort of size, you're going to nearly fill it up. Uh, with the average pot of acetone you can buy over the counter from a UK pharmacist. Uh, I don't know how easy acetone is to get hold of in America, but I understand it's quite difficult to get hold of in this country because it's fairly... Uh, I think they make bombs with it or something. Um, bombs and nail varnish remover. I mean nail varnish remover contains acetone, that is the uh, ingredient in it that will get the glitter off. But this is pure acetone so it's it's a lot quicker. See, it's already starting to uh, starting to look glitter free. And there that side I haven't been to yet so there's still still a bit of glitter there. Um, and this is basically it, just take your q-tip or whatever you call these things. Don't forget to change what end you're using frequently because you can see that's, you can't see it actually but that is covered in glitter now. Um, and that's not good because then you're just spreading the glitter around the toy. So here we're just going to go around. It's worth noting that sometimes you get bits of glitter that are actually inside the toy um, and you won't be able to get rid of them, obviously. But really, it doesn't matter so much what it looks like because... Um, <coughs> Why doesn't it matter? It doesn't matter because, obviously, being a custom, you're going to paint over the whole thing later on. So really all that matters is that it's the end result is nice and smooth um, and doesn't have ugly rough marks all over it. So... is chuck that tip away and get another one don't forget to do the underbelly I don't actually know what uh, what this one's going to be a custom of just yet, um, but I mean it, it never hurts to to whittle one down and take the acetone off because that is something I would do regardless of who I make out of it. Um, I've got a couple of ah shit ah it's worth mentioning that. You should be careful if you've got a cut 
be careful with your acetone if you've got a cut on your finger because I just got a load of it in my finger and that hurt. Uh, and I completely lost what I was saying. Yeah, I don't know what this custom's going to be. I have a couple of ideas. Um, I was thinking maybe another Avenger. Uh, but then again, I I was listening to an old Pony CD in the car, one of the CDs I made from YouTube, uh, and My Arms Around Her by Under Pony came on, and I was reminded how much of a tune that actually is. Um, yeah, it's different from a lot of the stuff he does. It's quite uh, I don't even know how it's quite computery, you know synthetic sounds and stuff like that and this one's very uh, acoustic sounding uh, and I really like it it's a great song um, so I was thinking to do a custom of him in line with the brony musicians but to be honest I have quite a lot of commissions at the moment and uh, I, I, j I can't I, every time I turn the telly on or watch a film or play a video game I come out of it thinking oh my god I have to make a new custom so I'll see I have quite a few ideas um, yeah I've just got acetone in that cut as well there not good see how easily let me show you this how easily the acetone takes that eye off look it is really rather strong um, so yeah you know you really don't need to uh, expose the pony to too much acetone it, it, uh, it gets to work quite quick very effectively. I mean, you can see that the glitter's almost gone from its body. <coughs> All right, that's the body pretty much done. I have a go between the legs there quickly, and the back legs. like that there now I haven't moved to the head yet so I'll give the head a little dunk under the acetone make sure it's nice and covered and then with the rag just rub it down a bit and that will take off a fair amount of it and then you can get back to work with your little tip thing I'm starting to spread glitter around here so what I'm gonna do is just chuck that and get a last one of those and just take the last of this glitter off like that Um, I mean, if if you can see any bits that are still glittery, um, then it's a good idea to just run your fingers over it. And if it feels rough, then you have pokey out glitter. If it doesn't feel rough, if it feels perfectly smooth, then the chances are it's just a single piece of glitter that won't... Um, that won't show at all and also around here I don't know if you can see that but around the neck there there's some uh, there is some glitter that's actually inside it because that head is stuck onto a to another piece there and that piece has glitter on it so that glitter is actually inside the pony and when it's all covered with clay and then paint and then varnish 
nobody will ever know. So there you have it. There you have it. A glitter blind bag, de-glittered and whittled and ready to go. Uh, last thing before I go then, pinning the tail. Personally, I would recommend you use solder because it is extremely malleable, very easy to uh, work with and uh, and I love it. So no. Um, and what we're going to do here is make sure you cover up your acetone as soon as you've used it. If you leave that pot sitting there open, it will evaporate. Um, as we're going to blob a blob of super glue there. I don't always advocate using super glue, but that is going to go on the end of this bit of tail here and then said tail is gonna go in there so you see that's not at all um, a case of the super glue holding that in place once that's got clay over it um, and possibly a little bit of uh, milli put around its ass to just to round it off nicely um, the super glue is just another layer of, of strength in there um, and that is pretty much how you prepare a blind bag for customizing so there you have it um, let me know if this video was any better hopefully the information was uh, valuable and hopefully I didn't ramble on too much about um, unimportant stuff um, so uh, in the next video what I will try to cover is uh, uh, rebuilding the body of the pony which is my first stage of claying a custom um, yeah, I could show you a brief example this is one I've started to do see I've taken the feet off because they had princess shoes and this custom isn't a princess it's just a regular uh, Pegasus but a, a taller, slimmer one. So I've tried to smooth the body. Um, I still have the, bod the actual body to do, but the legs, uh, the legs are smoothed there, which I'll show you how I do that. There also is Captain America. You can see I've rounded off his ass a bit with a bit of milli put, and also his chest and his sides where I've taken away the hair which I will do with that it's very easy to do um, and I personally think it's a it's a much better um, thing to do than hoping that your paint will cover it up um, I mean you, you can paint acrylic paint thick you can blob it on quite thick um, and it will cover up some ugly marks but uh, certainly not ugly marks as deep as those um, so right yep in the next video that's what we'll do and in the meantime peace out or something I need a catchphrase uh, chestnuts out for the Lunar Republic whatever see you soon bye